Hey guys, so today I'm filming my Finish 6 by Christmas finale. I know this is going up a day late. The weather here has been absolutely terrible, so it's been hard for me to have good lighting to film this. So I just wanted to wish all of you guys a Merry Christmas if you celebrate, and I hope you will have a great New Year as well. So if you guys have not seen my intro or any of my updates, I'll have my playlist linked up here. And since my last update, there were two items that I had left to finish, and unfortunately, I did not finish either of them. This is the first seasonal makeup challenge where I haven't been successful and I'm very, very disappointed. So the first product I did not finish is my Maybelline Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze. This is literally all I have left. It is not much, but it is hanging on for dear life. I'm using it as a base today. I mean, I used up a ton of product within this year, but I cannot believe I still have some hanging on. So I really did enjoy this. I am going to repurchase it once I finish it up. I love the formula and I love that color. It is more of a cool tone bronze. It is great to wear on its own or as a base. So I am going to be retiring this until the summer so I can give my other shadows some love, but I will finish this up in 2016, but I didn't finish in this project which is very disappointing for me. The other item I did not finish was my bonus item and that would be the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Sandy. Right here is where I was at my last update and this is where I am now. Once I finished up my Tarte Matte Lip Surgeons and Exposed, I didn't reach for this. I tried it with a couple other lipsticks and I did not like the way that the combo turned out so I decided to just set this aside to try to pull out later but within this project I did use up half of what I started with so I am really impressed with the progress that I made. I didn't think I would finish this anyway. This was just a bonus item. So this is definitely a product that I would recommend and once I finish it up I will repurchase this. I love the Buxom Lip Gloss formula and I really love this shade. So really quickly I will just run through the other items that I have already completed. The first one is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. This is $16 when you get it full price definitely not worth it. I've heard this is a dupe for the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and that's supposed to be amazing for oily skin. It did not do anything for my oily skin. It didn't do anything for pores. This is a nice primer because it makes my skin feel nice but it doesn't do enough for me and my skin needs. So this is something I'm not going to be repurchasing. Then I finished up my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation in the shade number 20. This is a nice foundation. It does give medium buildable coverage. I think that it did a decent job of controlling my oil I much prefer my Hard Candy Glam Flush Estee Lauder Double Wear and Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation over this one. So while it was nice, I'm not going to be repurchasing this. Then I finished up my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. I absolutely love this pencil. It draws onto brow hair and onto skin really well. It also has a very nice, fine, precise point which is fantastic so I can really sculpt and shape my brows and get them very perfect looking. I do absolutely love this pencil but the NYX micro brow works exactly the same for me and it is half the price. So I am going to be purchasing the NYX instead of the Anastasia but this is great quality. Then I finished up my Tarte Matte Lip Surgeons in the shade Exposed. I absolutely love this. It is an amazing peachy nude for my skin tone. The most comfortable matte formula ever. I actually already have repurchased this when I had my Ulta 20% off coupon. This is an amazing, amazing shade and formula. I definitely recommend you guys pick this up or any other shades in this range. I know they are expensive, but in my opinion, they're totally worth the money. And the last item I finished up was my EOS Smooth Stick in the Scent Sweet Mint. You guys know this is my Holy Grail chapstick. You can find the stick versions at Ulta, so I definitely will repurchase this. So guys, that was my finished 6 by Christmas finale. I would love to know if you have just posted your finale so I can go check it out. And I'm already on to my next project. I am doing the Finish 7 by Spring Challenge. I have a playlist linked up here in case you want to go check out my intro video. And I'm very excited to be doing another panning project. So thank you all so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.